The Legion 7 is an outlier in the flagship gaming laptop market, relying on more than RGB to grab the attention of consumers. The 2022 version is completely powered by AMD, which should offer some advantages, mainly improved performance and efficiency thanks to AMD's smart technologies. The laptop exudes quality, having a fully aluminum lid and chassis. Compared to the Legion 5 and 5 Pro laptops, you get a lot of RGB, including a glowing Legion logo on the lid, lights inside the heat vents, and a long strip on the bottom panel. The laptop is very elegant, with sharp edges and rounded corners. It can be a bit difficult to carry around, weighing 2.53 kilograms but the profile is slim, measuring 19.4 millimeters. The lid shows a tiny bit of flex, but it opens with one hand, which is a show of quality. Thus, we see the base, with the keyboard and touchpad. There is next to no flex from the keyboard deck, while the keys themselves are very comfortable for typing and gaming. The touchpad is covered in glass, which is very smooth, along with being amazingly accurate. The input-output is split between all three sides of Legion 7. The left side has two Type-C ports, both with DisplayPort 1.4 output. On the right, we see one more 10 gigabit Type-C port, an audio jack, and a shutter for the webcam. Lastly, most of the ports are on the back, with a LAN port, one 10 gigabit Type-C port, an HDMI 2.1 port, and two full-sized 5 gigabit USB ports. On the front, we see a familiar display, with a 16-inch 16 to 10 IPS panel with a QHD Plus resolution. It's the same one that's found on the Legion 5 Pro, with great 470 nit peak brightness, high contrast ratio, and 92% sRGB coverage. Accuracy is decent out of the box but gets even better with our design and gaming profile. You can get it from the link in the description below the video. With a 99.99 Wh battery pack and AMD hardware, we expected big things out of the Legion 7. However, the laptop only lasts for 5 hours of web browsing, or 5 hours and 33 minutes of video playback when paired with the Ryzen 7 6800H and the Radeon RX 6850MXT. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. The Ryzen 7 performs well but still falls behind the Intel 12th generation Alder Lake H series processors, with even the Core i5 12500H showing a higher score. The 6850M XT comes with 12GB of GDDR6 memory and shows similar performance to the 150W RTX 3080. In games, we tested the GPU using an external monitor in Full HD. At that resolution, there's hardly any game that can stop the RX 6850M XT, except for Metro Exodus, which ran at the extreme preset reaching 47 frames per second. In other games, you can expect well over 60 frames per second at the highest settings, as the GPU is made for much more than 1080p gaming. If you want to check out more footage of the RX 6850MXT, we have a full playlist of games that we've tested over on our Laptop Media Benchmarks channel. If you fancy any other GPU, we've probably tested it as well with the same attention to detail. The Legion 7 uses a big vapor chamber with two fans. The whole thing spreads across most of the motherboard, cooling the VRMs and GPU memory as well. It keeps the Ryzen 7 running at nearly 4 GHz even after 15 minutes of testing. The temperature was also stable, albeit a bit high at 89 degrees Celsius. The Radeon GPU does even better, maintaining constant wattage of 140 watts. RDNA 2 cards are notorious for clocking highly, and the 6850M XT keeps a frequency of 2.4 GHz even after 30 minutes of gaming. Comfort is alright, as the fans don't get super loud. On the other hand, the base gets noticeably warm, 
with a hotspot of 48.6 degrees Celsius. Finally, you want to know how the device will fare in the future, as game sizes get larger and RAM requirements increase constantly. There are two SODIMM slots that fit DDR5 modules and two M.2 PCIe X4 slots with generation for SSD support. We have a detailed teardown video, which shows how to get access to the memory and storage slots inside the Legion 7. All in all, the Legion 7 doesn't take full advantage of the AMD Advantage software that's available to it. While it does crush games, other similarly priced flagship gaming devices come with Nvidia's top-tier graphics, which are not only beasts in games, but also open the door to a lot of creator work. We have a more detailed version of this review over on our website, which goes fully in-depth.